The FBI now confirming the name of the gunman, working to put together a profile now, who he is, what made him snap. And this evening, our team learning his family might have reached out to authorities before all of this. ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas working his sources from Washington tonight. Pierre, good evening. David, law enforcement sources tell us police found a note at the scene suggesting the suspect was anti-government and that he expected to die in today's confrontation. And tonight, as you said, we know who he is. Police say the suspect apprehended in the shooting is a white male in his 20s. Sources tell us the man had recently been living in Los Angeles, but had also resided in Pennsville, New Jersey. Tonight, the FBI is identifying the man as Paul Cianzia, age 23. Tonight, you can see in this video, police converging on the suspect's former New Jersey home. ABC News spoke with the Pennsville police. While police there cannot confirm that Ciancia is the shooter, they offered detail on the young man's state of mind. A call came in today to police from a concerned family member. Their younger child got a text message from, from Paul stating that you know, there were some comments in there about his uh, well-being and he wanted to uh, possibly you know, take his own life. And at that point, uh, Paul, who, his father, called me, and I went over there and I made some phone calls to LAPD to try to get a well-being check on him. Sources say the note recovered at the scene ended with the letters NWO, which law enforcement believes refers to New World Order. At this point, the FBI believes he acted alone, but they will investigate whether he has any ties to domestic terrorists. David? Attention now turning to those red flags. Pierre Thomas tonight. Thank you.